Now that we're looking at our VLANs that we've configured, we've left out two important ports, ports FA01 and FA02. Now on this top switch, and that's what I'm connected to right now, it says here switch zero. I don't have the name for the switch configured here, but it says up here switch zero, so I know it's switch zero. And what I'm gonna show you is switch zero on fast ethernet zero slash one, its first port and its second port are gonna be trunks to these other switches, right? And the reason they need to be trunks is that they need to carry data packets that will be from VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30. So these need to be trunk ports, a special type of port that's going to be able to carry three different networks traffic, almost like a super highway with three lanes, and in this case four lanes because we also have VLAN 99. So these trunks are a special type of port which can carry multiple VLANs on one link. And we need to configure those. And that's going to be on this switch, they're connected on ports uh, 0, 1, and 0, 2. So what I'm going to do is, and I was already started to do that here, so I'll, I'll just show you again. I need to go into global config mode, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put interface range, notice interface range, FA0 slash 1 dash 2 to select both ports. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say switch port mode, whoops, mode trunk. And that will make it instead of an access mode, uh, trunk mode. All right. And instantly we get a message reply from the switch that, whoa, you know, what's going on here? So don't worry about that. We just got to keep going. So now what the next command is switch port trunk, and we'll set the native VLAN, native VLAN 99. And what that means is if the trunk gets packets from an older switch that are not labeled for any VLANs, it'll automatically by default put those packets on the native VLAN, which would be VLAN 99. So this is for um, backwards compatibility for the most part. Okay and hit enter, right? And so now I've got those, um, those trunks complete. So I'll hit end, and now I can do this. I can do show interface trunk, and you can see here that we've got some trunks set up. It says there's some mismatches going on, there's some problems, right? Well, that's because we've configured trunking on these two interfaces, but we haven't configured it on this interface for this switch or this interface for this switch. So it's telling you that there's a mismatch right now. But anyway, you can see here that on the ports, uh, mode VLAN, uh, the mode is on, encapsulation is 802.1Q. This is an open standard trunking um, protocol and status is trunking a native VLAN 99. And this is which VLANs are allowed on the trunk, right? It says uh, basically, um, all of these VLANs are allowed, and these ones are allowed, and they're active, right? And then the last one is about spanning tree protocol, which we won't get in here, and um, pruning, which we won't get into in this video. So now what we need to do is close this window and go to these other switches. I'll go to switch one here, and I'm going to right away on switch one, I'm going to do enable and then show VLAN brief. Hopefully you can see this. And you can see here that we still haven't assigned ports on the other two switches to our VLANs. So the first thing I might do is set up the trunks and see if we can get that fixed up, right? So let's do the trunks first. So configure, right, or conf T to get in global config mode interface FA0 slash 1, right? And then on interface 01, I'm going to do a switch port mode trunk. Do the trunk first this time. And then I'll do a SW, hit tab to finish the command, switch port uh, trunk native VLAN 99 and hit enter. 
and that should set up the trunk on that port. And all right, now what I need to do is configure the rest of my um, interfaces. So I would do interface. I'm going to end to get out of this configuration. Conf T interface range F A zero slash six through ten and switch port mode access and then I need to do switch port access VLAN 10. So that sets up port 6 through 10 for VLAN 10. And then what I can do is just keep on going and get to the other ones. So I'll show it to you one more time and then you'll do the rest off screen. 0 slash 11 through 17, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20. And then I'll do 18 through 23, support mode access, and VLAN 30. And if I'd like, I can do an interface, I can do an end, conf t and do interface fa0 slash 23 and set that up with uh, switch port mode access but for vlan 99 for a management vlan okay now what we need to do is we need to do um, the other switch to get all of our switch ports configured after, after you're done with this, what you could do is I'll do a control Z and then do a show VLAN brief and see that now I have configured um, my VLANs here, right? So um, I've got ports 6 through 10 in, v, in VLAN 10, 11 through 17 in VLAN 20, 18 through 22 in VLAN 30, and then I've got port 23 on VLAN 99. I've also got some trunks. I can do show um, interface trunk and see the trunk ports too. Okay, I'm back. I finished configuring uh, this last switch, switch two. So now I've configured switch zero, one, and two. And I can see that I've only actually made one mistake. On switch one, I put the port 23, let me see if I can just hover over this, on port 23 I put VLAN 99 instead of port 24. On the other two switches um, I put the uh, VLAN 99 on port 24. So I did make a little mistake there putting the wrong port onto VLAN 99 that I wanted, but that's all right. I know what I did. I could always go back and change it, putting no in front of my commands or just changing the ports and reassigning them. So now that we have the switches configured for VLANs and we have ports assigned to the VLANs and then we have these computers, these, these PCs attached to the ports on the specific VLANs, then this computer right here that's on the 10.100 network should be able to communicate with this computer over here who's 10.101. So this guy is 10.100 and this guy's 10.101. So we'll give it a try. So we'll click on him, we'll open a command prompt, and you can see I've already done it, and I'm going to ping 101, and you'll see it's successful, right? But if I try to ping 192.168.20.101, which is this computer right here, right? He's on a separate VLAN, VLAN 20, right? There's no router to route between the different networks to take us from the 192.168.10 network to the 20 network and to take us from effectively from VLAN 10 to VLAN 20. So when I do that, it should fail. So I'll do that. And as you can see, it does fail. 